Hey guys, Ben Weiser here. I am going to take you on a tour of Team Treehouse. This is the most awesome place to learn how to code. I've tried Linda, which is really good too. Got nothing against him, but Treehouse just happens to be my favorite. And I'm going to show you guys what the back end looks like and give you a little bit of an explanation as to what some of my favorite features are. So if you're on my blog post, you can scroll down to the bottom, start a two-week trial, totally awesome. This is my affiliate link, so if you want to be awesome, please click on it. If you don't want to be awesome, then just go to teamtreehouse.com, and you can start a free trial. You have two membership options, basic and pro. The main difference between the two is there's just more content for the pro. Right now I'm on the basic plan. If I had more time, I would probably use the pro plan. So enough of that. Let's get to the nitty gritty. I'm going to log in and show you guys exactly what that looks like. All right. So when you log in, this is the screen that you're presented with. You have a few options here. You can take different tracks. And the different tracks really just depend on what skills you want to use. So if you're into front end, Web design, Rails, PHP, you can go down any one of these tracks. Uh, personally, I'm not a big fan of these because, like, for example, I started on the front end development track. If we load this up, it's going to show you, okay, how to make a website, CSS basics, JavaScript frameworks. It kind of gives you a rundown of how the different course flow goes. So most of this stuff is way too basic for me. I don't want to be on the front end web development track learning basic HTML when I've already got it down pat. Now it might be good to review but me personally I find these tracks too limiting and too constraining and I just kinda of want to learn what I want to learn on my own terms. So for that, the library is great. Um, I spend a lot of time in the WordPress courses and the JavaScript courses. So you can see what they have here for the WordPress courses. Um, here's the PHP for WordPress course, which is awesome if you want to know how to do amazing things in the back end of WordPress. And maybe you're not interested in going super deep into PHP but you just want to know enough to make the changes that you need to your functions file. PHP for WordPress is great for that. Uh, they've got the settings API, actions and filters. These are all things that you need to know if you want to build custom themes. So say you have a client site or say you want to sell your themes on your own website. You need to know this stuff and you need to understand how these things work. Treehouse does an insanely good job of explaining these sort of things. So if we look at the uh, settings API course, this is basically how the courses are organized. So you have your primary sections, then all the videos within that section, and they're usually short videos. The longest one's about 10 minutes. And at the very end of each section, you are asked to complete a quiz based upon the content of that video. This is awesome because it holds you accountable for understanding the information before you move forward. Some of the other Learn to Code websites out there just give you access to a bunch of videos, but they don't really make you apply anything that you've learned. The great thing about these is that they're detailed videos, they're short. If you're familiar with Reddit, the teachers on Treehouse explain it like you're five, okay? I don't know if you guys are familiar with that subreddit, explain like I'm five. That's what they do here at Treehouse. They try to take the re really, really, really complicated concepts and make them as simple and digestible as possible and then hold you accountable for learning those concepts. Another great thing about Treehouse are the workspaces. 
So let's say that we wanted to do, uh, let's see here, let's try interactive web pages with JavaScript. So this is actually a course that teaches you how to build a to-do list using JavaScript. Let's see if I can pull up the workspaces here. Okay, so the video is automatically going to start. Um, and on each video, let's see, okay, we're going to launch this. On each video that supports workspaces, you'll be able to pull up this code editor. You can see their syntax highlighting. You can save, upload files. You can even create new files and new folders. And what this does is it acts as a text editor right there in your web browser. So you don't have to worry about downloading a text editor, getting your server configured, getting things set up, you don't have to worry about any of that. It's all right here in your web browser. Now I typically use Sublime Text when I'm completing these exercises, but in the beginning, before I downloaded Sublime and learned how to use it and learned about all the different packages, this was really, really easy to use. And you can even click Preview. Oh, there's my alert. And it's going to show you the results of whatever code that you type in here. So here I have an alert box that says, thanks for visiting. Now I can say, hello people watching my video. Control S to save it, preview. Welcome to my site, thanks for visiting. Okay, let's try this one more time. Hello people watching my video, and there's my prompt. Now, if you know JavaScript already, that's probably not very impressive. Even if you don't know JavaScript, that's still probably not very impressive. But I just want to show you guys what it looks like to edit in this code editor and then have something appear on the front end. So we've got the form. Oh, by the way, I haven't taken any of the mobile app development or Rails courses yet. I have taken a lot of the PHP and WordPress courses, which are totally awesome. There's a few good design courses. To be honest, I wasn't too impressed with the UX course. Um, as for JavaScript, there are some pretty good courses, but I do find it's lacking when it comes to explaining certain advanced concepts, things like prototypes. I can't really comment too much on Android or Python. The business course has lots of good stuff. There are a lot of really, really smart people who've run web design agencies in the past that can give you some insights into either finding a career in web design or just how to do client work and how to deal with that. Okay, back to what I mentioned before. There is the form. And the form is really just a place to ask questions. So you can see a lot of these don't have very many answers. Um, most of them have one, two, three answers if there is somebody that's responding to them. It's not really a place for making conversation. And that's one of the things that I find is pretty lacking about Treehouse. I would like for there to be somewhere that people can communicate, uh, sort of like a Slack group or a live chat, where you can get more detailed answers from other Treehouse users in real time. The current form feels sort of impersonal. I mean, you do get answers, but I find it better to go somewhere like Stack Overflow to get an answer, or Quora, or the WordPress forms. I just, I feel there's something very impersonal about this format of question, answer, question, answer. It doesn't really foster communication and bonding within the Treehouse community. So that's something I'd like to see changed in the future. One of the coolest things about Treehouse are the badges. Now, you might not think much about this. These are basically internet high five points. These are kudos for completing the different courses. Do they mean anything in the real world? No, of course not. But 
it offers some kind of super unexplainable, totally awesome psychological benefit to earning these things. Like every time I earn a badge, I feel like I'm eating an, a cookie. Like I feel like someone just gave me a cookie and it's awesome. Like they put a lot of thought into these badges and the system of racking up points. So you almost want to take new courses and learn new things just to get more badges. They're kind of like Beanie Babies, but you just can't really sell them for anything. I love the way the system works. It is a beautiful motivator for you to keep going. Um, let's just go back to the library, and I want to show you guys a few more, um, a few more examples of what's available in some of these courses. So if you're into like workflow optimization, you can learn things like Scrum, Grunt, Git. Um, there's even a course on Gulp. If these things sound weird and foreign to you, don't worry. They break it down for you very, very well. Um, moving back to the library, To give you an idea as to what's under the PHP course, we've got building websites with PHP, standards and best practices, uh, Laravel, which is a PHP framework, using PHP with MySQL, oopsie, style sheet didn't load, okay. Now in the pro section, let's see if I can still see the videos even though I'm not upgraded. I had Pro and I downgraded just because I didn't have time to watch all the videos. Um, the videos are actually really awesome. They have amazing talks from pretty much every web design, even SEO conferences, like speakers that will blow your mind. Like you would have to spend thousands of dollars and buy some very expensive plane tickets to go and see these speakers live and they have the videos right here on their website. So again guys, this is Team Treehouse. They offer a two week free trial if you sign up for it and it totally sucks. You can go to my blog and write a bunch of hateful comments about how much I suck. Cancel your subscription. Get your money back. If you like it, stick with it. I've been with them for about six months now and my skills have gone from like, I would say like 50% to like 90%. I feel so much more confident in my ability to design and develop and build WordPress websites. It's taken my ability to deliver quality work to my clients to like the billionth degree. Um, I love every aspect of it. Even the business courses, courses which I mentioned before, um, talks about user needs, how to start a business, how to freelance, career foundations. So it really doesn't matter which way you want to go. And as you can see by the courses that they have here, they're all related to either web design, development, mobile applications, or the business of being in the digital world. Linda and some of these other sites, like you have to go through like a million courses. Some of them are like 10 years old, totally out of date. Um, they have courses on like everything. So video production, claymation, whatever. Like what I like about Team Treehouse is they just focus on the design, development, and mobile app side of things. And what they do, they do it very well. So all the courses, all the speakers are very entertaining. Like I never feel like I want to fall asleep during any of these videos, which says a lot because I like falling asleep all the time in totally inappropriate places and times. Um, oh, by the way, here's some pro videos. Generate NYC, Creative South. Um, there's, there's a few of them on here. 
All right, guys, so if you have any questions about Treehouse or you want to know some more about my experience, uh, or if you think you're a badass and you can get more points than I have, feel free to comment in this video or comment on my blog. Share your experience with Team Treehouse and even share your experience with some of the competitors. Because if you find something better than this, I'd love to hear it. I always want to learn new things and I'm more than happy to try and review any learn to code program out there. Of all the ones that I've tried, they're all great. This just happens to be my favorite and it's what I recommend to most people when they ask questions about learning how to code, be it on the WordPress Facebook forums or pretty much any web design community online. I'm always referring people to Team Treehouse because I use them. I think they're awesome. You can see I've been a member since December 20, 2014, and I've done a heck of a lot of courses. I wouldn't waste my time with that if I didn't like them, and that's the honest truth. So, once again, leave a comment in the... Uh, in the uh, oh, sorry, just had a brain fart. Leave a comment below. Comments on my blog, follow me on Twitter, at Ben Weiser. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can visit me at benweiser.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.